Let's say, for the sake of argument, you're a newbie kilt wearer and you've been invited to a really nice dinner like a burn supper or a hogmany party, a Christmas party, etc. But you don't have a dress born and you don't have a nice fancy jacket, like a PC or something. Would we recommend that this person dress up their kilt as best they can? You know, a nice shirt, tie, you know, whatever, and just go with it? Or rent something? Or skip the whole thing and do a Saxon wear outfit and wait until they've saved up enough money to actually get the dress accessories? Because otherwise they're not doing it right. How would you, how would you break that down? It would, I would say this, it would depend on where the, who is hosting the event right. and the, the event itself and what pieces of the kit you have or don't have. Here's the example. <clears throat> For burn suppers, typically they're more, a little bit more casual, a little more day wear. So even, even like the St. Andrew's burn supper that, you know, I go to on occasion is tweed jacket and vest. It's not Prince Charlie. So it's not formal. Um, so I'd say in that instance, if you had a dress shirt, tie, and uh, uh, a tweed vest, whether a, a, a real kilt tweed or a, a regular tweed vest that happens to fit well with a kilt, you might be able to make it work. If it is a formal-ish occasion, a formal occasion, so you're, you are supposed to wear a PC, you are supposed to wear a dress born, and that is the, the dress that is dictated or, or requested by the host, then I would say, um, I hate to say don't wear a kilt, but you can maybe rent the rest of the outfit except for the kilt. Maybe you can rent pieces and parts if you have the hose and the shoes and the, uh, maybe a semi-dress sporin, but you still want to rent a jacket. Maybe there. Um, again, it depends on the host because a lot of people that go to a, a you know, St. Andrew's dinner or something like that may not actually have the right thing to wear. So you'll see, even at a formal event where people are supposed to know what they're doing, you'll still see people in an Argyle jacket, not a PC. Or you'll still see people with a day sporn or a semi-dress, not a dress sporn. It's not the end of the world. You have to kind of know your audience, know how much your audience knows, um, and, and feel your way around. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't let it stop me. I, yeah, maybe, maybe do a rental, maybe rent part of it. Um, it would be a shame to just kind of pack it in and say, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wear a suit. It's fine. Um, especially if everyone else is in a kilt and especially if they want people in a kilt. They're yeah. ge generally, I don't think people are going to make fun of you or look down on you. They're just going to say, well, that's what he has. So he's just doing what he's got. Um, so, but the, the cost effective way in my mind would be rent pieces, parts of the outfit and just, you know, wear the kilt that you got. I totally agree. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, a lot of events these days are not as formal as you might think they are um, in in the States. If it's an office holiday party, you could probably just get away with a vest and nobody's going to look askance at it. Um, but if there is a dress code, if it is something like it is at, you know, the, the, the lodge hall in downtown Center City and it's a really big to do, then yeah, rent a jacket. Um, a lot of time, if it's mixed company, I mean, the examples you gave were uh, very Scottish type things like a burn supper or hogmany. But a lot of things you're going to be invited to, it may be you're the only guy in the kilt or one of a few guys in the kilt. And a lot of people who don't know any better will assume you are more dressed up simply because you're wearing a kilt. And in their world, nobody wears a kilt except maybe for a special occasion like a wedding, um, if that. So gauge the audience. Like Rocky said, gauge the audience and decide um, what's going to be appropriate. You would do that anyway, you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't wear a, a gray flannel suit. I'm showing my age. You wouldn't wear a gray striped suit to a black tie thing where they said you need a tuxedo. You'd probably rent a tuxedo. Um, so it's the same deal. You know, if you need the jacket for that one very special occasion and it's a photo op, you know, then um, yeah, rent the jacket. But uh, yeah, it's, it's context. It really is. An office party, you're probably fine in a lot of cases, honestly. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to draw this quick parallel as well. <clears throat> Don't let perfection be the enemy of the good. The I specifically remember going to a St. Andrew's uh, a St. Andrew's Day dinner with the St. Andrew's Society, and the dignitary who came over to give the speech for the dinner 
was actually some, I forget who he was, but he was some uh, big wig in Scotland, Minister of Defense, something, something, whatever. Um, anyway, he had on a Prince Charlie jacket and vest and kilt and a day sporn. Oops. I'm probably <laughs> one of the only people in the room to know, even at that level of an event where they are supposed to know what they're doing, and well, for the most part they do. I'm not down, you know, kicking the St. Andrews Society because they're great people. But the, uh, uh, even at that event, no one, either A, they knew it and they didn't say anything because it wouldn't be polite, or B, they had no idea. It was just the guy had on his sporin that he owns, period. So again, it's it comes down to no one is going to call you out on it. And if they do, they're being rude for calling you out on it. And I'd, I'd be willing to bet, yeah, it's either it's just, yeah, that's my sporin. Or it's the sporin he was willing to take with him on a flight overseas. You didn't want to Ooh, risk the, the, antique, the antique dress sporin that he inherited from his grandfather, you know? Because so. the fact that maybe seal. That's a good point. I never thought about that. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good point. So maybe he did know what he was talking about. Now, they, see, now I look like a jerk for calling him out. Damn it. Edit, <laughs> cut it, done. Nope. We'll cut this. Didn't say cut that. this out. I said cut it. Cut it. Hey, thanks for watching. Trying to figure out what you're going to wear for that big event coming up? Check these videos out for some more tips on Highland dress and all the ins and outs of what you need to know to get started. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you get notifications on when we come out with new stuff. Take care.